Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Samarth and in this lecture we are going to do something really fun. We are going to build a feature for Ionic where we can verify the phone number of a user using an SMS. So how this works is that whenever the user makes a request an SMS will be sent to the user's phone number and that SMS will contain a six digit code which the user can then enter in the app to verify that the phone number belongs to them. This is a typical scenario these days because all transactions generally require you to enter that six digit code. It is often referred to as OTP or one time password. So that is what we are going to implement in this lecture in a blank Ionic application. We don't need to pay for anything. Everything is free of course, because we are going to use Firebase to implement all this functionality. And for the Ionic side, we are going to use an open source plugin, which we will install in our Ionic application and it will do most of the job for us. So the first thing that you need to do is create a blank Ionic application. I have my application created right here. So the name of my application is SMS verification. I'm just going to open this project in Visual Studio Code. So here is the project. It is opened inside Visual Studio Code. So as you can see that this is a blank Ionic application and the first thing that I'm going to do is run this Ionic application in an emulator. So I'll just type in Ionic Cordova run Android and this might generate some new folders in my application and you can see that a new config.xml file is also created. That's what we needed. So head over to your config.xml and here you have a name or a unique identifier for your application. Change it to whatever you like. I'm just going to change it to com.samarth.sms. I'm going to save it and now I'm just going to close my config.xml. That's everything. That's pretty much everything I needed to do on the Ionic side right now. We'll come back to our Ionic application in just a moment. Now we need to create a new project on Firebase. So head over to your Firebase console. It should look something like this. Click on add project and here you need to type in the name of your project. Once this project is created, you will have to add an Android app to your project. Our main objective as of now is to download Google services.json file from Firebase into our Ionic projects root folder. So click on project overview, click on project settings. And here all you need to do is click on add Firebase to your Android app. Here you need to provide the unique identifier that we just configured in our config.xml. I need to provide in an app nickname, which I'm just going to leave blank for now. And you can leave this SHA field blank, but to allow your application to request Google or Firebase to send SMS to your phone number, you need to provide in this SHA. This is really simple. Just open up a command prompt and type in this command. So we are basically using key tool to generate a debug SHA one certificate. So basically you can type in this command and generate your SHA fingerprint. Just go ahead and press enter and this will give you a number of keys. So just copy the SHA key that you get here. Come back to Firebase, paste in that SHA key and click on register app. Now you are ready to download Google services.json file. So just click on download and save this file into your Ionic projects root folder. Done. Hit continue and now you can click on finish. So you have successfully added your Android app. You have also downloaded the Google services.json file. And now all you need to do is just enable phone authentication. So just head over to the authentication section, click on sign in method. And here you need to enable phone authentication. So just click on phone, enable, and then save. Okay. And I have created another video where I have completely explained Firebase authentication using Facebook. Make sure that you check out that video as well. Now we are done with the Firebase part. Now let's head back to our Ionic application and install the plugin, which is called Cordova plugin Firebase. This is not the official Cordova plugin for Firebase. Instead, it is a fork of the original plugin. And this is an amazing fork because the author Jest Castro has added the function verify phone number to this plugin. So this is one additional feature that he has added into the official plugin and therefore this plugin is not the official one. 
I hope that either this plugin becomes the official one or the official plugin adds the verify phone number feature soon. But until it does, we have to use this plugin. Come back to your Ionic app in Visual Studio Code and just install this plugin. So to install this plugin, all I have to do is just type in Ionic Cordova plugin add and then the URL which you can find right here. Come back to Visual Studio Code again and paste the URL to the Git repo right here. Press enter and this will install the plugin into your Ionic application and the plugin has been installed. So now that the plugin has been installed, let's head over to our page and designer page so that we have a few buttons and a text input to interact with. So I'll just head over to my home.html and inside my ion content, I'm gonna delete everything and I'm just gonna paste in some ionic HTML code. So here I have a button. This button is a block button which calls the function send. We will create this function in just a moment and this button actually sends the request to send an SMS to our phone number. Secondly, I have an ion input here where we will type in the code that we receive on our phone. This is bound to a variable called code using ng model. Lastly, I have another button which is bound to a function called verify and this button will be responsible to verify whether we have typed in correct SMS code or not. Lastly, I'm just gonna change this title as well. And now that we are done with the UI, I'm just gonna head over to home.ts file and start writing all the functions here. So first of all, I'll create two variables. One is called verification ID and the other one is code. So this code variable is actually bound to the input field in our view and this verification ID will be required when we get authenticated successfully. So let's start by typing in the code for the send function. So I'll just go ahead and paste in some code here and this is a very small piece of code which I'm just going to explain as well. So we have the Firebase plugin object available to us on our window object because we have installed the plugin and on this Firebase plugin object, we have the function verify phone number. This function takes in three parameters. The first parameter is the phone number, which is my phone number. The second parameter is the timeout in seconds. So I have specified 60 seconds as the timeout value. And the third parameter is the callback function, which is executed if the request for SMS succeeds. And in that case, I'm just going to alert a message SMS sent successfully and I'm going to log the credential which I receive as a response to the console. Inside this credential, I have a verification ID which I require while verifying the SMS code. So I'll just save the verification ID from this credential object into the verification global object that I have created right here at the top. And if something goes wrong, we have the error callback here and I'm just going to simply log the error to the console. So this is all the code which is required to send the SMS. Now all we need to do is write the code to verify the code that the user types in our input field. To do that, we will need the Firebase node module. So we'll just install that. Now while the Firebase module installs, head over to your app.module.ts file and import Firebase here. So I'll just type in import star as Firebase from Firebase. Okay, now I need to configure this Firebase module. So I'll head back to my Firebase console, click on project overview and then click on add another app. Here you need to click on add Firebase to your web app and this will give you a lot of config. So just go ahead and copy the config object and come back to your Visual Studio Code. Inside your Visual Studio Code, all you need to do is just type in firebase.initialize app and this will take that JSON object that you copied earlier as a parameter. So just paste in that and you are done. So you have successfully configured Firebase now. Close your app.module.ts file. Now you need to import the same Firebase module in your home.ts file as well. Now we are ready to create our verify function. And here I'll type in let sign in credential. This is an object that I'm creating. And this will be equal to Firebase which is the module that we have just installed dot auth dot phone auth provider dot credential. And this credential function takes in two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the verification ID that we received during our send function. And the second parameter is going to be the code that the user types in in the input field. So it will be equal to this dot code. Okay. 
So now we have the credential stored inside our sign in credential object. And now all we need to do is sign the user in using this credential. So I'll just type in firebase.auth and this time this is going to be a function and this function returns an object on which I'm going to call in another function called sign in with credential and this function will take in a parameter which should be a credential. We have a credential inside sign in credential so we'll pass in that. Now if the authentication succeeds the promise will run and we will get some info in the response okay so I'm just gonna log all this info to the console okay and if something goes wrong the error callback will run and here also I'll just log the error to the console so that's pretty much it if the verification succeeds then this success callback will run and info will be logged to the console and if the verification fails in that case an error will be thrown and the error will be logged to the console now it's time to run this app and see everything in action. But before we do, I need to deploy this application on my real phone because we cannot test this functionality on an emulator. Okay, so here we have our app running on the right side of the screen. You can see the preview of my phone and on the left, I have remote debugging tools from Chrome running so that I can see all the console logs or errors if any. So the first thing that I'm going to do is tap on the send OTP button and see if I get the alert which says SMS sent successfully. So I tapped on the button and you can see that I get the alert SMS sent successfully. And I also get an SMS from Google. The code is 595941. So now I need to enter this code in the input field in my app. So I'll just tap on the input field and enter this code. And I'll tap on the verify button. And you can see that I get a verification ID which I got when the SMS was received. And I also get another object which contains the authentication information. And it shows that my authentication went through and the SMS code that I entered was correct. Otherwise, I would have gotten an error here. So now that we have got this object, let's head back to our Firebase console and see if we get a user created there. So here I'm back in my Firebase console. I'll go to my authentication section. And here you can see that I have a new user created and the identifier is my phone number. So this proves that the user has been logged in to my app using their phone number and the way we verified their phone number was using a one-time password or OTP. So this is how you can implement phone authentication or OTP verification in your Ionic apps for free using Firebase. Make sure that you do not exploit this method because if you exceed the limits specified by Google then your account may get blocked and you will not be able to use the API at all. So keep an eye on your usage and make sure that you check out the limitations specified by Google. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop in your comments about this video. Thanks for watching.